happen against Australia. Ijaz did a very good job in Tasmania on a pitch which was uh, not dissimilar to this, but I think perhaps gave even more help to the bowlers in this one. Wazimu were there, and uh, you pulled off a tremendous victory then. Definitely that because of more help to the bowlers. And Ijaz can bowl a bit. He used to bowl when he was young, uh, when he was about five years ago. And he, he has been bowling in league cricket from last side a couple of months, so that's why he looks okay. He won us a game at Hobart. He bowled 10 overs for 26 runs and uh, got us a wicket of Mark Waugh. Very, very crucial wicket. Ajaz to Ganguly. Trotting through for the single. now comes in to the strike here as uh, Ijaz comes around the wicket. Bit of bounce from Ijaz, he must be happy with this uh, delivery. Just getting back to that match, it uh, was played in Hobart at the Bell Reeve Oval and Pakistan made 140 all out and the Australians felt well this is going to be a piece of cake. They're going to go on to win the match and I think that if they had won the match, it would have qualified for the final. Very crucial match that was. As it turned out, Australia were dismissed for 120. Pakistan winning the match. And Ijaz Ahmed bowled his 10 overs. 10 overs, 1 for 28. And he bowled superbly, and he bowled those 10 overs on trot, although he, got, he was so stiff after two days, he couldn't walk after that. But he bowled quite well, and he was very, very keen on that day. Experience does count. He has been bowling for Pakistan in the past, and I think he's bowling after a long time, almost six, seven months, uh, uh, in a one-day international. But again, when, whenever team needed him, he's always there, in, either in fielding, either in bowling, or either in batting. That's the end of a respectable first over from Ijaz. 35 for one. Aharsha Bogle is coming in as Ijaz continues. And he'll be joined by Jeffrey Boycott. This is the Toronto Cricket Skating and Curling Club. They've got an ice rink here. And I asked Jeffrey at uh, lunch, the lunch break whether he had gone skating. The comment came back very quickly. He said he's always skating on thin ice. I don't know if he's had a, a session in the ice rink uh, at the club here, but it really is quite a, a fantastic club here with uh, tremendous facilities and a great tradition. I don't know if you've gone skating, Arsha. Have you tried it? In India, Tony? That's a view of the uh, pavilion here. Wonderful structure. Jeffrey, I thought you were so much in love with cricket, you didn't have too much time for anything else, and now I discover you're a great skater. Listen, you had to be when you were playing for Yorkshire, and the Yorkshire committee were after your blood. <laughs> you were on the ice last year, here, uh, Jeffrey, weren't you? And interestingly, you didn't have a cricket bat with you, you had a baseball bat with you. Ganguly is 24 from uh, 41, he's played some lovely shots. He's played and missed a bit, as you'd expect on a track like this. But this is an interesting change, I think it's been necessitated rather than uh, created. Ijaz Ahmed, Pakistan have lost the services of uh, Kabir Khan, and we just heard the news a short while back that uh, it's unlikely to take any further part in this match. Maybe not uh, for the rest of the series. 
I noticed Salim Malik hasn't been on the field for a while, so anyone who can tell me to turn his arm over, he's got to fill 10 overs. No way. He's not doing a bad job. Well, I've seen he just bowled before. He usually bowls um, fairly decently. Doesn't do a lot with the ball. But I don't expect, uh, you know, there are too many filling bowlers that are better than the main bowlers. You just want him to do a sensible job. Don't get carried away. Try and bowl a little bit of line and length. Keep the runs down. If you get a, a wicket, I always feel it's a bonus with your filling bowlers. That's a good, a good effort. 